And I was born in Tlalnepantla, Mexico. I came to the United States when I was about to turn three. I found out about my undocumented status in high school. And I didn't understand what it meant to be undocumented too much, and I didn't understand what it meant to be American. Shortly after my junior year um, of high school, uh, DACA was introduced, which is a Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. Basically, that's how I ended up coming to your team. I didn't really know who to trust or who could relate to me. It was the first time that I ever heard anyone be vocal about their undocumented status. And I was like, whoa, like this person just came out to me and was like, oh, I'm undocumented and unafraid. And that was really confusing to me. I don't know, I was surrounded by people who weren't afraid to talk about their status and kind of stand up for themselves. And that really empowered me a lot. I actually ended up going to the, um, the Capitol during the legislative session to um, basically lobby against um, a bill that wanted to take away in-state tuition for undocumented students. And it was at that point that I realized that I needed to kind of, I could still fight for myself despite like my status. The study abroad for me right now is a, it's both like an identity search, but it's also like a research um, opportunity that I want to take advantage of while I'm still in school. I know that since DACA is still in place, I don't know if it's going to be in place later. I want to make sure that while I still have it, that I take advantage of the fact that I can travel with it. The only way I could go on this trip is if I get enough money for it. Otherwise, I don't have many options. I decided to do some fundraising, and um, I like to paint. I pretty much, I got it from my grandfather, um, who, when I was younger, he'd come to the, he was able to come to the United States on travel visa, and um, just see me and my dad. And he would just paint with me, and he would draw with me. And then I thought, well, I could also just make canvases um, for other people. I haven't done a lot of um, like research and stuff into immigration patterns and the history of immigration from Mexico and then from Latin America and such. Partially, I also want to visit my home country that I haven't been back to in 17 years. I just never know. There's a lot of uncertainty. And um, I mean, I cope with it with my activism and I cope with it with um, the people I surround myself with. and. Um, the different things I do. You know, what's the next step? Like, what can I do to um, always keep moving forward and always keep helping other people who are in my situation or who have similar situations or just letting people understand me because I feel like if I'm never vocal about it, then no one will ever understand me.